I've been thinking about gin, um, which is something that I think a lot about because I, I like a good gin and tonic. And the whole gin boom and how it came about. And I'm utterly convinced that the gin boom itself is not because of the liquid that's in the bottle. Uh, apologies to all the craft gin producers out there, you're doing a fantastic job. But there has been a massive shift in pub and bar goers' views on how they could and should be personalising their drinks. A recent study that we uh, ran called On Trade Outlook told us that 53% of people questioned, that was a thousand UK consumers, told us that they'd be more likely to drink in a certain pub or bar if they had the ability to customise their drink. And I think that the gin boom can partly be put down to the fact that it is customisable. So you've got dozens and dozens of types of gins, quite often all on one shelf in one pub or bar. You've got dozens and dozens of types of tonic. Um, you've got all the different garnishes. I mean, there was one particular bar I went to in Prague that had over 136,000 combinations that you could have, including over 500 different types of gin sourced from all around the world. And it's that level of customization and personalization that I believe pub and bar customers are looking for. And I think that is really contributing to the massive amounts of growth that we're seeing in that category at the moment.